Hello, investors and traders, and welcome to the Weekly Market Report with the Market Guys. I'm AJ Monty. This is the Russell 2000 Index, ticker symbol RUT, and it's a one-year daily candle chart. And what I've done is I've left my lines on the chart like I do each and every week so we could see how the forecast panned out. And as I zoom in here, you'll see, again, the line that I drew last week. I said the market would most likely drop and pull back towards the 20 period moving average right there. My target was the end of that line because my thinking was that we would pull back to fill this minor gap. Now that's very important that we take note of that because that is still an open gap. And what I'm going to say for next week is that because of this nice strong green candle, I think the Russell 2000 is gonna move up early on next week but i do believe it's going to make another attempt to pull back and move towards that gap because the gap an open gap acts like a price magnet okay so that's my forecast for next week if i look at the diamonds dia we have a similar chart where i said that we would most likely pull back to the 20 period moving average that's exactly what we did Monday and Tuesday and then look at this we gapped up it's a minor gap right there and then today Friday the 12th as I record this this too is an open gap so what does that mean for next week for the diamonds well I'm going to draw my forecast lines this is a long green candle that has no shadows and what that means is the market opened today on the low closed on the high and you can see that we have stronger volume on Friday than we did on Thursday. The oscillating indicators are still pointing higher, and the CCI is registering up over the 100 mark there. So this is an extremely overbought condition, and both of the oscillators are reading overbought. However, the increase in volume tells us that the market will most likely go higher early on next week, and then we'll have to keep an eye on the volume because I think the volume will start to drop, and we will most likely pull back to fill the gap and retest this newly established role reversal support level. So I'm going to extend this out to the right because that will act as a support level. But remember, I think we'll move higher and then pull back later in the week. So we'll have to see how that works out. Now let's take a look at the VIX. The volatility index is a leading indicator, and it's inversely related to the S&P. Now what happened with the VIX? Well, I said we would most likely move up to test the 20-period moving average. It did just that. It went right up to the 20-period moving average and then pulled back. It didn't hit my price target, but that doesn't mean it will not hit the price target next week. Here's what's happening with the VIX. We have a red candle. The momentum indicators are still pointing lower. They haven't turned yet, but I think the VIX is going to drop right to that support level and then start to climb back up. Now, again, that's very important that you take note of that because if the VIX starts moving higher, that's inversely related. So that means the S&P will ultimately start to pull back when the VIX goes higher. All right, so let's look at the S&P. That's SPY. It's the ETF for the spiders. Again, same story. Said we would pull back early on the test of 20 period moving average. The spiders did not move back as much as the other markets. Notice right here, there is an open gap. I'm going to erase this line in order to draw that gap fill point. And from this high, we're going to draw a horizontal flat line support right there. And I think that the spiders will start to move up just a little bit. I think the spiders are going to be the leading market to pull back. So you could see that we had lower volume today than we did on Thursday. And the oscillators are all showing overbought. Once the stochastics start pulling back, and I'm even going to forecast that that will happen, once the K line starts crossing over the D line, that will generate a sell signal. And we have a couple of open gaps. We have one right here. 
See right there where my cursor is? Between this high and the low from Wednesday, that's a gap. We have the gap down here that I think will fill. So, of course, if this one fills, then this most recent one will surely fill. But again, this is my forecast for the spiders. Early on, we'll see a test or maybe new highs there, and then ultimately a pullback. I think we'll see some profit taking along the way from the short-term traders. Now, finally, the Qs. This is the NASDAQ market, basically the tech sector, QQQ. And as I zoom in, you'll see that my forecast was that we pull back early on in a week. We did that, didn't quite hit the target. And this, too, is an open gap. Again, when you have open gaps that are left below the market on all markets, well, except for the Russell 2000, all the other markets have open gaps below the market. We have one here and we have one here. I think that ultimately the Qs are going to move higher just like the rest of the markets and then start to pull back. My target is not going to be as aggressive as the other markets. I think we're going to pull back and then fill this gap, and then we'll have to see whether or not we get a reversal or a bounce from that point. If you'd like to learn more about what we do at The Market Guys, just go to themarketguys.com. It's very easy. And click on the video tab right there at the very top that will bring you to our video library. Now, we're working on some things that I think you're going to be very excited about. I'm putting together a 20 class technical analysis course that will be introduced to the public when that is finally released. I will absolutely let you know. But in the meantime, you can come to this page and scroll down. These are called market shots. These are very short videos, seven to eight minutes long, and they give you an idea of what we do here and the language that we use while talking to our technical traders. Now, remember I said about gaps that 80% of the time gaps fill. And this would be a good video to review because it explains the gap rules. And I'll also talk about what happens after the gap fills. We also get an 80% chance that the price will reverse from that point. So gap trading is a very popular strategy and something you might want to learn about. So that's it for now. Have a great weekend and we'll talk to you soon. So long. This video segment is a small part of what the Market Guys offer through their educational products and services. If you are interested in any of our trade alert services or you would like more information about our one-on-one -on -one mentoring program, simply contact us at info at